from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for a look at your top stories. I'm Mark Zinni. And hi, everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. Unrestricted online gambling started in our state Tuesday morning. Now, the full launch follows a week-long soft launch that limited the number of people who could initially place bets. Anyone who's 21 or older can bet on their favorite sports. Uh, they can access our iGaming products statewide. Uh, this includes people traveling into the state of Connecticut as well. Uh, so if you're right around the border or if you're taking a special trip into Connecticut, you know, the product will be available while you're within the state uh, border. 130 games have been approved by the State Department of Consumer Protection. The tribes are now looking to add some more games. A New Haven first grader was taken to the hospital Tuesday after being bit by a dog during recess. This happened at the Lincoln Bassett School. Officials there say a pit bull started chasing the children while they were outside. Staff members quickly rushed students inside or got them out of the dog's reach on gym equipment. Two other children were treated for scratches. In a statement, school officials said, quote, going forward, we will conduct their recess inside the enclosed playground on the school property. Our student safety is our highest priority. We are just two days away, two weeks, I should say, away from Election Day. Governor Ned Lamont and Secretary of the State Denise Merrill in Hartford Tuesday reminding voters about the availability of absentee ballots for upcoming municipal elections. Any voter can use an absentee ballot, but you do have to fill out an application. The ballots can then be turned into uh, each town register or put in a ballot drop box. All right, weather-wise, a warming trend certainly underway. Temperatures on Tuesday reach the 60s. By Wednesday afternoon, we'll reach the lower 70s, so a good 10 degrees above average under a mostly sunny sky. Then for our Thursday, even milder, mid-70s on tap with a strengthening southwesterly breeze. Thursday night into early Friday, there's a chance for perhaps a shower or sprinkle with the passage of a cold front behind that upper 60s on Friday, so still above average. Then for the weekend, near 60 Saturday, perhaps some spotty shower but not a washout, only the 50s on tap for Sunday and as well into early next week. By early next week, morning lows could dip into the upper 30s. For shoreline highs, low 70s through Thursday, then turning cooler through the end of the week and over the weekend.